Hey, welcome back.、Uh, this is Summer from Alibaba Cloud Database Block Team. Long before we introduced RDS for MySQL series, and you know,、um, in RDS family on Alibaba Cloud, we also have RDS for PostgreSQL, RDS for MariaDB, and RDS for SQL Server. This time, let's talk about RDS for PostgreSQL series on Alibaba Cloud. If this is your first time to watch our videos and you still have interest to find out more after watching, you can easily find the previous series at the end of this video. Okay, let's begin.、Uh, AppsRDB RDS for PostgreSQL is fully compatible with open source PostgreSQL. Since open source community terminated the maintenance for PostgreSQL 9.4 last year, now、um, RDS for PostgreSQL supports. PG version from ten to fourteen. Similar to RDS for MySQL, AppsDB RDS for PostgreSQL also have basic addition and high availability addition. And、uh, as shown as the left part of my、uh, diagram, a basic addition instance only has one node. Therefore, we also call it single instance. It's super convenient to expand storage capacity manually or automatically, which fully takes the benefits of cloud storage technologies. And it provides various of specifications from one core to gigabytes to more than one hundred cores, seven hundred gigabytes. And for storage, at most, it supports up to thirty-two terabyte data. A significant shortcoming is. Um, this kind of architecture is vulnerable to physical or logical errors. Once reaching the bottleneck or system errors, there will be a downtime, and business will be inevitably affected. Besides, the basic addition doesn't support additional read-only nodes, so、uh, the only way to support heavier workload is to change instance specifications. Which also requires a downtime for a single node architecture. So、uh, the basic addition is generally used in test environment and the businesses that don't have strict requirements for service availabilities, such as light web-based applications and light mobile applications, or for personal usage, like、uh, you know students or PG beginners.、Um, but What if you have demands for a specific SLA, such as 99% availability, which means the downtime should be、um, no more than half hour per day, or even more strict requirements? I believe it's quite common to see such requirements for business critical systems. How do you think? Obviously, the basic addition cannot meet the demands. You need high availability additions. As shown in the diagram, there are two parties. High availability addition with local SSDs, which only supports PostgreSQL 10, and high availability addition with cloud storage, which can support PG 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. What's remarkable is that for、uh, you know the RDS for PostgreSQL 14. Is also compatible with the latest version of open source PostgreSQL, fourteen point one. So,、uh, in high availability additions, by default,、um, there are two nodes: one primary node and a warm standby server, which can be promoted to a primary server once the current primary node is abnormal. The primary node handles all read and write requests, while the warm standby node keeps replaying all the data changes and waiting for the time to substitute. As for data replication, there are two types of methods: asynchronous replication as default, and if it's necessary in your case, you can also change to synchronous replication, which guarantees high consistency but with performance loss as a trade-off. Um. Anyway, it's a safe choice for important business. Why? Uh, with this kind of architecture, uh, a manual failover and automatic failover are supported. You won't be in trouble if the primary node is no longer served as normal. Um, there always be a backup. 
if there are less rights but heavy workload for read, um, it's a good choice to add some um, read-only notes to improve throughput. And read-write splitting is also configurable. As is shown, for um, high availability addition with local SSDs, um, when you add in a read-only instance, you're literally adding a read-only cluster with an extra read-only node in case the ongoing one is abnormal. Actually, this is quite useful, especially for businesses such as uh, important report business running on read-only instances um, with requirements for availability and performance commitment. You can add up to uh, five read-only clusters to a high availability addition instance with local SSDs, which can meet your different needs. And a small but beautiful design is that to minimize the impact on primary node to keep the best performance, the data replication link is built between the warm standby server and read-only nodes. I really like products with fascinating details like this. How about you? Hope you also think it's nice. Okay, then let's see where it's used for. In general, it's suitable for Postgres 10 users with strict demands for SLA, especially for um, media and large size companies. And more important, if you're seeking for high availability architecture, um, both provides high performance and redundant read-only nodes, you must try RDS for PostgreSQL high availability addition with local SSDs. Now, uh, let's go back to uh, read-only nodes part. If you have heavy read workload higher than your write request, what it would be like um, for high availability addition with cloud storage to add read-only instances? You can see that unlike the previous one, the high availability addition with cloud storage doesn't have read-only standby to guarantee the availability of read-only nodes, but um, it allow up to 32 read-only nodes, which somehow makes up for that. And one thing cannot be ignored about high availability addition with cloud storage is that um, its scalability and elasticity for both compute and storage capacity is excellent. You no longer need to suspend service to upgrade resources because it's a dual nodes architecture as we mentioned just now, uh, the change can be done on the other node and then switch over when it's ready. The process is more smooth and the business um, takes less risks. Also, since cloud storage provides features like um, automatic storage space online expansion, you are able to um, avoid the full disk risks. You know what? This is also a feature wins a mass of likes. By the way, the high availability addition with cloud storage is also what to recommend for many scenarios. It's suitable for most of the critical businesses um, with clear SLA and high performance requirement in media and large organizations. And as many others use PostgreSQL as a great choice for Oracle migration, um, Using RDS for PostgreSQL high availability addition with cloud storage with um, high availability features is definitely a plus for enterprise grid applications. It's now widely used in banking, uh, IoT, GIS, transportation, gaming, and other industries. Uh, if you're exactly using uh, RDS for PostgreSQL right now, Mm, we would like to hear your feedbacks and uh, use cases. So uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe us to ensure you don't miss our latest. See you next time. Bye.